everyone accepts on some level, that getting organized is a good thing. Or at least, recognizes that being disorganized will work against you, in some way or another. Although, the rebel part of many personalities, might swear by the value of chaos. But when we look closer in our day-to-day -day lives, we all have established some level of order on the things we use. Knives and forks are near or inside the kitchen. Toothpaste is close to the place where we brush our teeth. And the keys to the car are more likely kept in a contained number of places. If our lives don't have enough order, it would be difficult to even get out of our beds. And as the number of things we are dealing with increases, so does the need for a structure to hold it together. Inefficient systems drain energy, and that's true for the world of computing also. Computer applications also store and process information. And given the changes in the amounts of information available to us these days, applications face an increasing need to organize data. To begin with, here is what you really need to know about data structures. Data structures are all about how data is stored in memory, and various operations that can be performed on that data. Now different data structures have different ways of doing this, but generally it is either by linking, ordering, or grouping similar items together. Further into this series of videos, we will look at how various data structures make use of these general strategies to organize the data. Right choice of data structure can help you take inefficient code that is difficult to implement and maintain to a new level of clarity and conciseness to a code that not only executes fast but also takes less memory space. This is it for an introduction. Next we will take a look into best ways to explore data structures, with insights that you won't find in any of the books or courses online.